The conversation has been ongoing for years in our community and quite honestly at large in many parts of the country. How do we close the achievement gap when it comes to education in the public schools and offer our kids the chance at genuinely a brighter future? It has been a contentious discussion for a long time this past year, especially here in Madison, but are any improvements being made? We have Colleen Carey, he's the president and CEO of the Urban League of Greater Madison with us today. Colleen, great to see you. Thank Thanks you so for much for coming me. in. Yeah. First of all, one of the reasons we're talking about this now, you really are concerned this conversation is dropping off the map when it comes to uh, within the community and you've got a huge forum happening this week. Why are you doing it? Uh, we have to keep it a part of the conversation. One of the major things that we heard during the whole period that we pursued a charter school proposal was that um, your proposal can't work. I mean there's not one magic bullet and then after our proposal was opposed by the school board we heard from a number of people and it was in the media a lot that you know there's no place that has tackled this issue there's no community that has solved this problem and that's just not true and so what we decided to do was bring schools and different organizations and programs together who have closed the achievement gap or who are making significant strides to do so so we can learn from them you would really uh, like to see community engagement you've got about 600 people that are planning on attending this yes. event already. Some of the reasons that you're hoping uh, that folks will come out, you just talked about a broader community understanding. You gave me a statistic right before we came on. Uh, That's one percent of all African American students in the Madison Metropolitan School District are academically prepared for college. So out of 378 seniors that graduated in 2010, only uh, five of them were academically ready for college. They took the ACT, only 7% of them performed ready on the ACT. So that doesn't mean that more won't go to school, but those that end up going will end up either taking remedial courses um, and their likeliness of completing school is very slim. I, there's so much to get to, and this, again, this is such a big conversation. Uh, you want a deeper commitment to the future of our children here and a greater action on the part of educators, community leaders, and parents to get results. Change in leadership at the helm of, of Madison Public mm -hmm. Schools. A lot needs to be done, but you're really hoping this forum will help uh, get people yeah. out and, and engaged. That's right. So this Thursday, there's a VIP luncheon. That's at noon. There's a program, a community forum at 2 o'clock. You've got some huge heavy hitters coming in. Uh, for this event, we have and I've got to get wrapped. Um, we've got a link on our web channel, NBC15.com. Check it out. Get involved. Be a part of the conversation. Colleen, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having Continuing me. to have it. Stay with us. Final check on your forecast and weather next.